Trey Young, who had 36 points, eight assists last night. Pay attention, guys. He is Please averaging nearly Ooh. 30 points and nine assists Please. a game since the All-Star break. T-Mac is Man. Trey Young silencing all those doubters. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Be rough quiet. This comparisons to Luke at the start of the season. Yeah, yeah, rightfully so. But Luke has been playing professional basketball since mm. he was 10. Yep. So <laughs> 13, but yes, <laughs> right. to your point. <laughs> but, um, no, Trey is. He's, he's been. I, I think he's figured it out. Right. The, the point guard position. Um, I, I think the pressure is really off of him. And if it wasn't for Luca having Atlanta, it's not hasn't been any pressure. <laughs> it has been because in of the way Luca has been Luka playing. Right. Yes, it's put pressure because Atlanta could have drafted Luca. Uh, well, I understand that's the type that. of pressure yeah, I'm right. talking about. No, he's getting so his he, comfort zone definitely. He is there. He reminds me of Steph a little bit. You know the well, way see, he's. Well, you don't have the, that's what when those Steph comparisons hang. I'm over talking about him. the shooting the ability. Shooting, yeah, okay. The shooting ability. But he doesn't have from, to be Steph Curry to be. No, 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 not at all. I'm just saying. Him, his size, and, yes. and being able to shoot the ball from extended range. Yep. I mean, if you saw some of those threes he was in last night, that's out there. He, you have to talk about his passing. I mean, because I, I think that's the best part of his game. I mean, the guy can go out and put up 10 plus assists. He can score the ball, but we know he, he shoots a lot of shots. He's very low percentage, but I think his passing ability it's underrated. It's, the, it's very underrated, underrated, but I think that's the best part of his game. You know what messed things up a little for Trey Young and his entry into the league? That Jason Tatum, Markel Fultz trade. Because people saw that trade the year before, and they remembered that the pick got attached to Boston. Mm. And they were like, oh my gosh, you traded Markel Fultz not only for what would become Jason Tatum, but you gave away a first round pick yeah. too. And then they watched the Luka Doncic, who became Luka, the pick that became Luka, and the pick that became Trey Young, but the pick went the other way. And people just kind of keep forgetting that Atlanta got the first round pick back with Trey Young. So they traded mm -hmm. for Trey Young and whoever they draft with that pick this year. So that's how you we'll will see. have to evaluate versus Luka Doncic. Okay. It will be Trey Young plus. I mean, I know we're on live TV, but you just said a mouthful. I couldn't even follow what you just said. But anyway, that's, but I'm going to have to go back and watch the show. <laughs> the pick goes the other way. I just want people to remember that Trey Young did not get traded <laughs> for Luka Doncic. Yeah, but the pick went the other way. It's important, right. right? We'll see next year. Would you rather have... Uh, Luca or Trey and another player? Yeah. We'll see how about this. We'll, we'll see have to see who that player But becomes. at least that's a question as opposed to Luca and another player versus Trey Young, which mm -hmm. is what you had in the Markel right. Fultz Tatum trade where you have Jason Tatum and and then Markel. Okay.